friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here we're going to talk about WordPress but specifically WordPress for marketers what are the things that as a marketer as an online marketer as an affiliate marketer if you're going to be creating a blog you're going to be setting up a WordPress site what are the things that matter to marketing to online branding to personal branding to all that what are the things that you need to be sure you do when you first set up your WordPress blog so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you've been told that you need to have a blog to create evergreen content right instead of using social media and posting on Facebook or on Twitter and Instagram you're posting on all these different platforms but you need a place that's going to be evergreen even though YouTube is a little bit is more evergreen than the other platforms you still probably should have a blog to at least post content once in a while but you've looked it up there's a whole bunch of websites there's a whole bunch of different ways and you're thinking wordpress might be a way to do it it's free but you looked at it and it's like oh my god there's so much stuff to do let me show you the few things that you need to do to get started really really quickly so we're going to talk about that before we get into that though I want to make sure you know if you are listening to the audio of this make sure you go to cis347.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I will be sharing my screen and I will be writing a blog post on this topic as well so let's get right to it let me share my screen right here and uh so this is oh look at that I didn't do this right let's move it down okay so this is kind of a list of okay what you got to do to set up WordPress right you got to install WordPress you got to set up your account you got to set the permalink for the SEO you got to install a header and SEO plugin you got to choose a theme you got to create the basic pages about contact probably legal and policies and those those other ones and you got to create a post now those seem relatively straightforward to do but when you go to a WordPress site I mean look at this if I look at if I do a Google search on marketing right uh, marketing resources for uh, look at this uh, essential plugins for marketers right there's 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 this blog post here from who is this this is uh, <coughs> now Neil Patel right he posted this explaining how to use WordPress and all the different plugins you can have but you know you have to have a word a WordPress blog first um and to see all this right so oh, look at that he's popping and this is an exact an exact perfect example of a WordPress blog for marketers right he pops up this stuff and maybe we'll talk about some of these other things on top of this list that I have here is you probably want to have a header you probably want to have a pop-up <coughs> an SEO plugin what else was I thinking about oh, right over here I was thinking legal uh contact legal uh, you know so those are the basic things so let's get right to that let me show you how simple it is to just like to go through this and, and what do, what am I talking about okay so first you're going to want to have a place where you can have a wordpress a blog so the where I host my blog is on Click eCourse it's a platform that allows you to host courses and things like that but today we're going to talk about wordpress so if I go to more right here and see wordpress right there it talks about what the wordpress blog is all about what the features of wordpress but so let's just let's just show you how easy it is to set up wordpress on Click eCourse so all you got to do first is you got to register normally you would click on the continue as with your Facebook I already have one so I'm not going to do that I'm going to actually use a create an account for this uh, episode which what did we say it was three four seven I think three four seven yeah so let's do that three four seven I'm going to put this uh, link here with my and then I just click on the register right that will um that will activate well create an account a registration account and now all you got to do is go back into here and you're going to get an email like this which you just need to click on the um activate so let me just go back here I probably have another one yep I do and let's just activate this 
uh well it doesn't really matter so I click on the link to activate the account it'll pop up a page that says the account is now activated right and uh, then I can just uh, uh I'll just close that because I'm going to go to the other uh, window so if I reload this page now I'm logged in and I have the account activated you see at the very top it says you can see the profile picture up there now that means your account is activated and you can actually go down to the bottom here under account blog or you just click on your little profile picture right there and you go to blog right here all right so we just go there so that's the first step is you got to activate your account to be able to create your blog now this is your blog so uh we're just this is just to create the wordpress uh, site for you so we'll do a actually let's call this cis 340 oh, I forget already 347 347 oh I should have looked right there right <laughs> 347 blog all right so it's defaults to your user id there you could put something else in there as long as it's not used by anybody else uh, on the site and then you just uh, create an admin user that can be anything but you can probably put wp admin right and then the password for that account which you would just have to specify that's so that's a separate account from the click eCourse site so you need an account for wordpress so now we just click on click here to activate it now that will activate your wordpress blog so we'll see that's the first part right when we talk about installing you got to install wordpress that is pretty daunting if you don't have access to a platform you can they'll do it for you in the case of uh click eCourse it's just as simple as clicking that button and then after it's done now it shows that we have it we have a, a blog with one post it's running wordpress 5.7 this is the url to your to your site if i just click on that you'll see what the blog looks like which is just a hello world page right there's nothing on it yet uh, but if i want to go and manage it i click on manage your blog site right there and now i have oh i have to log in we said wp admin was the login right and I'm just gonna do this the password of obviously has to be the right password but then you're in the wordpress back office right so that's installing your blog that's the first part number one installing the blog as you can see it's relatively simple okay now we want to do what did we say we want to set up your account so what do I mean by that in wordpress the default is that you are whoever you're logged in as if you click on users you will see your admin account that you created with your email address there the role administrator now you can create multiple users in wordpress you can have you know um, a, a, diff a person creating posts you can have a person uh, reviewing comments you can have a person um, allowing uh, guest posters and all these different things you can do that in wordpress that's but that's beyond what i want to talk about i just want to show you if you're going to use just this one account to post your post you want to make sure that account shows up as being yours right so you you go on this you click on edit and by the way you can change colors and things like that uh, but you want to put your Ooh, sorry about that you want to put your name here so i'm going to put my my actual name right jean serge my last name Gagnon and the nickname that doesn't really matter i don't i guess that's the actual login id but what do i want to do i want to display it as my name or you can put it the other way around if you want or just your first name whatever but this allows whenever you whenever you create a post it'll show that it's you that did it not the admin person right it'll show your name right and um the rest here is you don't you don't necessarily need to change you can change the profile picture in gravatar that you might want to do depending on your email if it's already set up basically all that is is a service where they map an email address to an image and that's it and then you just click on save update profile so that's the second thing you want to do you want to make sure that your account is set up with your name now you can do that later if you want but set it up at the beginning is is better because that way everything you post will show up as being from you the next thing we want to do number three is we want to set permalinks we want to make sure that the blog posts use permalinks that are 
SEO friendly so what does that mean SEO is search engine optimization right so as a marketer you probably already know about SEO you you might not know how to make sure your blog is SEO friendly and this is what we're talking about here so under your um, uh, tools here you're going to see under settings we're going to go to permalinks now we can go well let's just go there first I'll show you the rest afterwards go to permalink and in here the default is plain right so that means if you create a post every post will be post number one number two number three number four number five right and it'll be like this it'll have your link to your site plus question mark p equals whatever the post number is right but what you really want is you want the post name you want to make sure that your blogs are using the post name your blog uh, listing or url are using your post name because that is the best way for that that's what search engine wants like if you do a blog on how to garden you know in northern Canada well you want how to garden North America to be in the url because that's going to help the search engines to rank your page higher than if it was just p123 right and that's that's what you do there you set that up and then down here you save the changes so that's the third thing you want to make sure you do like I said we can talk about the rest of some of these other things in a minute but let's go get through the rest of these uh, things the next thing <laughs> is you want to have a few plugins very basic plugins that you want to use now there's different ones but I'm going to show you the ones that I've used I don't even remember but let's go over so basically you go to plugins and then you say add new or we can just look at the, what's installed first uh but yeah so the, those ones are um default plugins I'm just going to go into add a new plugin and I'm going to install actually let me go look at the ones I have what they're called because I should, probably should have wrote that I know that the SEO one is called Yoast SEO but I've got this one insert headers and footers by WP beginner okay so let's go back to the other one so over here I just put that in here and then it's going to give me a list and I'm just going to use the one that says WP beginner so this one here is the one I have <coughs> so this one uh, you just click on install now so that's that's the header one I'll show you why you need it in a minute the next one I have is uh I got I called it pop-up maker by pop-up maker okay that's the one I use pop-up maker like I said there's different ones uh, these are just the ones I've used they've been working good for me so under pop-up maker by pop-up maker is this one over here that I use so I'm just going to install this oh I should have oh sorry I should have asked sorry about my I'm, I don't know why I'm yawning okay the next one and the third one that I want is Yoast SEO so that one there Yoast SEO there's going to be a bunch of different ones that show up as well but I just use that one for SEO ranking is the top one right here I just install that there's different ones like I said there's a bunch of different ones uh, but and you can certainly try out other ones but okay so now that you have your plugins installed you got to go into your plugins uh installed plugins and I guess we could have just clicked the activate on them but we want to activate them I want to activate this one I want to activate this one and I want to activate uh that's fine he just gives me a pop plugins he, he jumps over to there and then activate this one so there you go so now I have my three plugins that I that I at bare minimum you should have let me look at the other plugins I have is there anything else I guess there's a TikTok feed here a super socializer that's probably a good one to have too uh let's install this one too this one allows you to add share buttons all across your uh, uh, blog so you probably want to do that add new plugin again and we go over into here we search for that super socializer <coughs> oh by who super socializer by team heat your team heat your I guess that's the one here 
all right and I'll just activate it right away this one just click on here to activate it right away all right so that is the uh plugin right there so let's just go over here and let's just all right so now we have those four plugins actually right the four plugins there's configuration and all that but let's go over and that's the thing after you've installed the plugins obviously you have to configure them so maybe we'll talk about the the four configurations so the first under tools under settings under settings under settings you're going to see insert headers and footers that's for the header one so if I just go on to that that's where you would specify the headers and footers inside of your uh this plugin you mean you need to update the privacy oh okay okay so this one here lets you put in your header and footer codes if I look at my blog right and I go into my settings header and footer basically I have I have all this code in here that is the you know the Pinterest tags and the um the Facebook pixel and the uh oh I got it twice do I that's funny let me have two of them oh no that's the end of it <laughs> LinkedIn one I have the Pinterest one I have a I have a, a Google uh, insight I got Google tags I got anyways a whole bunch of them right so whenever you're building your your uh, accounts online you're going to want to get these tags installed on your blog to make sure that you can do uh, retargeting for ads and all those all those good things uh we're not going to cover that obviously but just wanted to show you that's why you need the headers and the footer plugin right so you put that in here right okay so the next one the next one is so we got four of them and so the pop-up maker is right here you can actually go into pop-up maker and you can create a new pop-up um, I'm not going to cover that in here uh, but it kind of shows you it kind of walks you through it and it shows you how to use one and you can actually create uh, some pop-ups that that show up only uh, every 30 days if somebody visits your site or you can have it showed right away or you, it pops up when they're scrolling down the page there's all these different things you can do with the pop-up but that's under pop-up maker and then there's subscribers even um, I, I've not used those advanced things but and then there's themes and you can create a pop-up and then there's under tools there's you can even see the logs the versions and all and it's, it's a pretty advanced plugin but that's where you would create pop-ups so that you get people to subscribe like if I go to my actually you won't be able to see it because oh maybe I can yeah let's just do this so if I open my site in an incognito tab you will see that it shows me that pop-up right if I go to here I have the pop-up that shows up it will show pretty much right away I think it, it, there's a delay of a few seconds or scroll I forget um don't remember oh I thought it would show right away oh maybe not maybe I have a no it would be it's still loading there it is oh no that's the uh that's the that's the chat but oh I thought it would have shown but anyways it's that's uh that must be set up as a cookie or something that I've got it wrong or maybe I need to update it but the the point is you can create pop-ups for this kind of stuff where it'll pop up and make sure that you your your person subscribed or ask them to subscribe and things like that okay so that's number two number three let's say so super socialize <laughs> again is down here uh you can set up like the way I have it set up is right over here if I if you go to my blog uh you're going to see if I click on any of these posts when it loads it up uh you're going to see that I have these little share things I have these these things on the side and on top of the page that allows me that allows me that al well allows visitors to share the posts to different platforms right that's so you want that on your blog too you want people to be able to share it easily without them have to you know take the link and copy it to Facebook or something right you want them to just be able to click this and then it allows them to uh, post to Facebook right uh and you can it'll and you can say to your story to news feed right so, so that kind of stuff right so that's how you get um set up for and it's all in here 
and in here you've got a bunch of different uh, co social commenting social sharing uh right so there's different options I don't know why it's all red but maybe it's because it's a free account right but in any case that's just the color they have I suppose and then there's like buttons you can use as well so different uh different things enable like buttons I don't have them oh maybe I should enable them anyways that's just the social plugin so that you want to make sure your blog is socially you know connected number then the fourth one is the SEO so Yoast SEO is right here so there's a bunch there's settings and there's advanced and things like that you can you can pay for the pr premium one I just have the free version but what happens is when you use Yoast SEO you get a whole bunch of feedback for your posts when you're creating them if I look at some of my posts some of them are better than others but I don't I don't I'm not super into the whole SEO thing where I make sure that my posts are exactly the way they should be and all that but if I look at this you can see right here that most of my posts are orange in in the in the SEO score the right readability score I get this they're pretty much all green and then the outside links are here but if I go to the blog post itself to edit it right so that's the previous blog post right here if I go to that to edit it now I can see at the bottom of the page there's a place where I put in if I scroll down there's this whole Yoast SEO section that has your focus key phrase it also shows you meta description you can edit it uh, gives you an SEO anal analysis which I didn't look at in this case but it and it'll tell you you know things that are that could be fixed right SEO title width is too short uh there's there's no internal links there's so things I should do to improve and this is this is great because it lets you know what you need to do to get a, a better SEO score right so that's that's um yeah so that's the plugins so where were we now we got the next thing choosing a theme so number five you want to choose a theme that's the that's the part of WordPress that is quite daunting because there's a lot of themes um but I'll give you a couple tips on how to choose a theme uh or where you can find them right so when you go to your blog site when it's installed here uh we go to our our our, our, our site we just go under appearance under themes and then you're going to see there's just these default themes that are installed uh, depending on when you installed your WordPress which version you got when you click the button there uh, you're going to have different themes here but those those are just installed that come out of the box but you can click on add new right there and you're going to find there's thousands of themes right now it says featured themes there's 15 of them that are featured you could certainly look at these featured themes then you can click on the popular tab right here and that'll show you the 39,000 ones I don't know what number you're going to see when you look at it but of the popular or the, the the yeah I guess the popular themes now whenever you look at any of these any of these themes you can click on details and preview right here and you're going to see the actual rating there's 680 ratings on this one and it's got five stars and then the description of it and then a little bit of what they have in their theme what the theme is right <laughs> and that's one thing you can click on these little arrows to go to the next theme look at the other theme <coughs> look at each of the themes their ratings right and uh, all that so one of the things you got to be careful of is if you're going to be installing a theme you want to make sure it's a theme that has a lot of ratings like this one only has 79 ratings you know it's not as bad as if it only had five uh and the thing is that the the fact that it wouldn't have a lot of ratings doesn't necessarily mean it's bad it just means there's not a lot of people that used it yet not a lot of people that tried it and you don't know whether it's a safe theme or not because one of the things with WordPress which is its strength and um you know and a uh a whole um a, a weakness I guess is that it's very very powerful a, a theme or a plugin can do anything they want on your WordPress server so they could actually install code that you know deletes things or that backs that that copies your data or even that gets your password out 
and does a whole bunch of different things like that that's possible with a theme so you got to be careful that when you're installing a theme it's a theme that's been installed by lots of people and nobody's had any bad uh, bad thoughts you know like this one a thousand that's probably a good theme to use so when you look at this unfortunately on this page you don't know right you can't see whether it's got lots of uh, lots of users or not right so you really want to at least go to uh, to the details now okay so the other thing is there's under latest which is just based on you know the newest themes that came out I don't know the these ones are, are might be harder to uh to to decide because they're probably newer see this one doesn't even have a rating on this one right dash scroll I don't know this might be a nice theme but nobody's used it yet so is it safe who knows right um so that's the thing with the latest themes right and then under favorites would be just ones that you've marked as favorites so you might you might uh, you know install some of these and mark them as favorites uh, I don't know how, how can you mark them as favorites I've never used that feature so I'm not sure if I do this and I install it and uh, let's go back elementor activate no I don't know how to make it a favorite can I make it a favorite I don't even know there's a way to make them favorites doesn't really matter um yeah I don't know maybe I have to activate it first but in any case so once you've got your theme installed you have to activate it by activating you can do a live preview as well to go see what it'll look like if I click on live preview basically shows me what it'll look like after I activate it so as you can see I've got these share icons there and I just got these colors like this right there's other things you can navigate around to go look and but that's the thing you got to install your theme well you don't really have to install your theme before you start doing things because it could be that a theme um you can change your theme over time right you can choose a different theme uh that's possible so yeah so that's um yeah so that's setting up your theme so choose your theme you got to select it and then click on the install and then you got to click on activate once it's activated if I look at the themes I have uh where's the oh that's not even here go back to my themes these are the installed themes now that I installed this one I'm going to activate this one so I just installed this theme um the hello theme elementor is a plugin we're going to use it together with elementor page builder plugin oh, okay right so there's different things you got to be careful of if you use a theme that does lots of things for you that does automation of every, every, lots of things uh then it becomes harder to change to a different theme like for example I used the Divi theme for a long time and when I migrated to this uh, other WordPress then I had to edit all the pages because there are a bunch of things in there that weren't compatible with my new theme because dv is very specific and it works great when you're using it uh, but it's uh, it doesn't it, it it puts things in the pages that other themes don't understand right so you got to be careful of that if you're going to use a theme that's advanced um okay so that's the themes is that it yes and now we want to create basic pages so how do you create the basic pages it's pretty simple you go to pages and you click on the page right now there's a privacy policy let's uh let's edit this privacy policy and we go into the editor which loads up the page and we can do whatever we want in here I can just publish this after I've edited it but then we want to create other pages I just click back on that big w up top and I can say for example add a new page I'm going to add a page for about I'm going to call it about about uh, this page this this blog is all about BBC right and you know this is another line this is a new paragraph graph with a few lines a few 
the sentences uh here's a second sent sentence right second sentence there you go all right third sentence is here there we go next paragraph right okay so now you can add an image as well um we can add an image let's go in here I just click on the little plus right here and I say image it's not in here so I'm going to say browse all and down here I've got image so there's just some a lot of stuff you can add to your to your blog <laughs> to your page buttons columns page breaks spacers there's a whole bunch of stuff let's just say I want an image and I'm going to upload a file from my computer and these are my profile pictures okay let's just go in here and let's just uh, put I don't know this one here and here are my daughters right so paragraph that's not right there we go there so now I can just say publish this you could save draft and then go back to it and finish it later right but once you publish it it's live on the site so if I go back to here and I click on this link it opens up the actual blog site and uh, there's no all oh, right so I created the pages but I didn't put a menu so that's another thing we didn't talk about is uh, adding the menu so I got the about page let's add let's add the contact page as well and then I'll show you how to add that into menu so add new and then we have a contact page contact you can reach me on my cell at one two three one two three one two three four there you go publish that there we go so now we have two pages we could do other well there's three actually but um so now we want to add a menu at the, on the page so let's go in here uh, I want to go back oh no I'm over here okay so there we go back here we got those two pages see how we got about contact and then there's a sample page I can probably delete this one trash this there we go and then what I want to go do is I want to go into appearance menus and let's add this page has uh, pages menu one <coughs> let's add these two. Oh, they're there already okay so that's the thing is there's no menu on my theme oh that's why themes no customize menus few locations oh there we go oh there's no place for a menu on this page oh that's the part that I'm not sure how to do can I create a new menu no it doesn't matter okay so let's use a different theme that does have menus it'll be easier if I go back to customize or oh, themes I should say themes I go to themes right oh I'm actually there add a new theme I'm just going to add another theme popular theme let's close this guy and let's install say this one cadence okay I I should have I should go check to make sure it's uh, uh if I click on this so I can see 1099 range that's not a very that's not a very popular but that's actually pretty good okay I'm just going to activate this and now if I go back to here if I reload this there now we have the menu up here home about contact privacy right so if I go to about it shows me this page here with my daughters if I go to contact it shows me my phone number right right over here go back to home it's the home with just the one blog post right okay so now what we want to do is we okay so now the next thing is we want to create a post so this is the last thing we're going to do it's we're already in 30 at uh, 34 minutes so let me just <clears throat> get this uh, done so we can uh, complete this uh, episode so create a post posting is pretty much the same as creating a page the difference is that 
every time you create a post it shows up in the list of posts so if I go here and I create a new post add new post and I'm just going to say post number two so this is post two well actually here's the thing we're talking about SEO we're talking about marketing we're going to say so the first thing you're going to make sure of is that your title is a SEO friendly title so if you're want to learn let's say your blog is about gardening well let's say we're talking about uh, preparing your garden uh, for the spring so we want to say we can do we can do things like search online here uh, prepare garden for spring right <clears throat> so now prepare your garden for a successful spring season I can look at the different things uh, let's just say I'm going to do this I'm going to use that as my blog post so I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to say how to prepare raised beds for spring planting then of course I'm going to do some research about it I'm going to make sure this the way to do this is blah 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 right and also also do this whoops I don't know why my keyboard doesn't follow my mind right it's my hands right <laughs> so and uh, the next thing is <coughs> finally complete with this now obviously writing a blog post is not part of this episode because you want to have proper headings you want to have sections you want to have images you want to have maybe video all those things so that your blog is actually interesting to people right <coughs> but we're just going to do this how to now what's going to happen is because we said we want the post as the seo um the post as the it's published now right the post title as the url you're going to see if i go back to here and i reload this now i have these two posts right this one here if i click on it you can see oh actually you can't see you can see that the url is with the name of the post right so that's how that works so now we do that we can do some more we could do some more posts um but as you can see there's the default sharing is all here um and I don't know if that does anything I'll hide okay <coughs> and yeah so that's basically how to set up your WordPress for a marketer to make sure that SEO is taken into consideration and oh that's here see like for example over here you can see that it's by Jean-Serge Gagnon right instead of being by admin because if I didn't change the name it would it would show right here by admin right and uh yeah so then if I go back to home here now I can see the two posts we can add more posts that's basically how you set up your WordPress for marketing considerations if you will as an affiliate marketer Right, hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions obviously feel free to reach out and we'll see you in the next episode have a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is until next time.